this is the first charging of the coolant loop. I'm using a 50-50 mix of water and Crestone Dexcool Antifreeze, which is, I'm told is formulated for aluminum, which I have been told the galleries inside the spindle are. The pump is connected to the output of the VFD, so it will not run unless the, the, the spindle is running. So let's go ahead and run the spindle at 9,000 RPM, which is nice and slow for it. And uh, we'll see how long it takes to get coolant going through all those lines. And here we go. There it goes. And hopefully it's going to come out soon. There it goes. Very, very cool. That's neat to see. It hasn't quite gone all the way through the lines. There it goes. The last of it's starting to go through the last of the tubing. And there we go. We have a working, non-leaking coolant loop. Go ahead and move the camera so you can see under the table what we've got going on here. And that's the magic right there. There's a pond pump in there, a gallon of water, a gallon of antifreeze, some quick disconnect fittings on that end. So if I need to change things out, I can and it won't leak out anywhere. Um, on the spindle here are a couple of quick disconnect fittings. Uh, that I bought from Pone CNC. Uh, so I can disconnect at this end and uh, it won't have any problems. And there we go.